Uh, if you're going to hit off the toe, well, the first thing you want to make sure is you're not too far away from the ball. Because if you were too far away from the ball, you could hit the ball off the toe. I mean, nice and simple here. I think a good distance from the ball is about one hand span from your lead thigh to the top end of the grip. About, you know, you don't want to be out there too much. You don't yeah. want to be too close. Although there are variations, but I couldn't talk about toe and heel hits without talking about distance from the golf ball. But if it's not that, check that. But if it's not that, then it's time for the return of the again. Mamba. <laughs> now, I've reconfigured the Mamba so that you can't swing at yourself. Put your club behind the, the ball. When people hit the ball off the toe, i.e. Sarah and Martin, what it means is you, the club is too close to your body when you're coming down. When you're hitting off the west end of that club, mm -hmm. the club is too close to the body. In some way, shape or form, you're pulling the club in too much. You need to swing out more. You've almost got to try and hit it in the east end. I said right at the top of the show, how are you training? Now, if I put the Mamba here, you put the club right behind that ball. If you hit that ball in the middle of the club, Mr. Mamba lives. If you pull the club in a bit and you hit it after the heel, Mr. Mamba yes. fails to live. Yes. He comes to an untimely demise. So I want to see, can you swing without hitting the Mamba? And the answer is you couldn't. Don't you dare tell me you hit that off the toe because you clearly no, didn't. No, that was definitely so solid. So for right you middle. and for me to avoid hitting off the toe, we need more out. We need more out in the swing. Now, there's one other thing. Uh, we mentioned Kari Webb. What a great player. Certainly not saying I teach her. I don't. Mike McGettrick, her teacher, just came up for a few thoughts and questions. And uh, I, I actually wanted to see if she hit it in the middle. Yes, she certainly did. And I wanted to check her balance because balance is also a factor. And her balance was spectacular. I did it in a little more sophisticated way than this, but wanted to show you what people could do at home for good balance. And that would be just find something to stand on that runs through the arches of your feet. Now, get yourself the proper distance away from the ball for you. And I hear people talk about put the weight on the balls of the feet. I don't think that's correct. The people in the biomechanics world I speak to don't think it's correct. Balance should be right under the knots of your shoelaces. And you try and keep the balance. Weight yeah. might move around, but balance stays okay. right between them there. So I actually had Webby um, hitting shots off a sophisticated balance board, a piece of plywood and stuff underneath it. That, uh, but she was well, You can definitely get the, the feeling with this. You certainly can. You certainly can. So very good to do. Let's, so let's see if you can hit one here, keeping the balance. Stay there, stay there, stay there. That's an absolute beauty. And it is amazing. That's, I think you've done it. Bullseye. Yes. Bullseye Brown. That's what we will call you. <laughs>